today we're talking about warm and cool colors. For this project, you're gonna need two white pieces of paper and whatever color medium you have at home. Crayons and markers are totally fine, but I'll be using paint today. Just make sure you have all the rainbow colors. If you're using paint, make sure you have a water cup and a brush and a paper towel, maybe a messy mat for the table and an apron in case you don't wanna get your clothes dirty. So gather up your supplies and come back when you have them all. Again, you're going to need one sheet of your white paper. And we're going to be coloring this paper using warm colors. Warm colors remind us of things that are hot. So you can also call them hot colors. So some things that remind us of things that are hot or warm are fire. So you wanna use the color red. You can also use orange for fire but you can also think of the sun. And we typically use the colors orange and yellow to describe the sun. For warm colors, we also have a bonus color. You can also use the color pink for warm colors. So we're going to design this entire paper using only warm colors, red, orange, yellow, and pink. You can paint or color or draw this however you want. Okay, let's get started. Okay, artists, now we're moving on to the second white paper, and we are going to be painting this paper with cool colors. So if you're painting, make sure you change that water and you get fresh water. If you're using markers or crayons, stay tuned. Okay, cool colors remind us of things that are cold or cool. So we're going to be using colors like green, like the grass, or blue, like the sky, we're also going to be using the color purple or violet, whichever one you have is fine. And we're also going to be using the bonus color of teal or turquoise. And I'm gonna be painting my entire paper using only these four colors. If you have other variations of these colors in your marker or crayon box or paint palette, you can of course use those too colors like lime green, blue violet, those are totally fine to use. Just make sure you cover up the whole paper and you don't leave any white spots. Okay, here we go.
Okay, for the next step, if you're painting, you do have to wait until the paintings are dry. If you colored or used markers, then you can move on to the next step. But if you're painting, take a break and come back when your paintings are dry. All right, my painted papers are totally dry. I've got one with warm colors, one with cool colors. So you're gonna need these two pieces of paper. You're gonna need a glue stick or glue, a black marker, scissors, and to make this project even easier, get your drawings of your cats because that'll help this next step to go a lot easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cat that I am going to be inspired by today. So I'm gonna use this cat and I'm gonna cut him out. I'm going to use this cat as a tracer so I'm going to put him on one of my colored sheets of paper it doesn't really matter which one I just chose the warm one and I'm going to trace him I'm going to keep using this as a tracer for all the different pieces that I'm going to cut out of my cool paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting out pieces of this cat so I can use them as tracers and I can cut and glue the pieces to my warm and cool cat. So I need two of these little inside pieces. So I'm gonna move them way up here because I don't wanna use my whole paper on a teeny tiny little ear piece. And you're just gonna trace that tiny ear piece and cut them out and then glue them onto your cat in the correct location. Now we're gonna keep going and we're gonna cut out all the details that we can from this cat. We're going to cut them out of our cool tone paper and keep adding them to our cat so we get a warm and cool toned cat. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
And that's how you make a warm and cool toned Laurel Birch inspired cat. Of course, you can add tons more detail. I had lots of extra paper that I can add different details with. And then you can go in and add designs and patterns just like Laurel Birch. Artists, I hope you really like this project and I'll see you next time. Bye.